General Blair has assured me that uh, my husband is being looked after extremely well at uh, Malira Regiment and that I have no reasons to worry about his physical well-being. Have Thank you been you. told whether he's been reprieved or not? No. I don't think Mrs. Hill wants to give an interview. She's a little upset. We'll take her on. But no further news yet, sir? There's no further news. Stay here. Stay here. And we will ring you up uh, when we require you to come to somewhere. And you, you believe we will be coming somewhere, yeah. sir? You will be coming somewhere. Oh, right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Within 30 minutes, we too were summoned to the President's command post overlooking Kampala, just in time to hear General Blair saying angrily to President Amin that he would not be photographed with him. The president turned his back on him as the general saluted and left. Any news, sir? No comment. With General Blair gone, President Idi Amin began his own tirade. I told General Blair if a uh, foreign secretary is not here within 10 days from tomorrow, with the recommendations and advice I got from the members of the Defense Council who are right now before me, uh, he, we will then consider when to execute him by the firing squad. This is the recommendation by the Defense Council. But uh, General Blair, uh, he was trying to give me order. He has no power in Uganda. And uh, he's just, the British imperialism is over in Uganda. Uganda is one of the powerful country, independent, free country to do whatever he wants to do. And I am sure if uh, British is to send some officers to me, should not send some type of the officers who have no diplomacy, like General Blair and uh, Graham, because they were ordering me, they were not respecting, and they think that they are the boss in Uganda, and they think they were the former Buanamukubas who are, uh, they used to make African washing their back, bottom, their feet. This is no longer case in Uganda. Uganda is developing without a single penny from Britain without anything from Britons. Could I ask you, Mr. President, Mr. Callaghan has already said twice that he will never come here under duress. It is up to him. And if he wanted to save the life of Mr. Hills, he will come. And if he doesn't want, it is up to him. And a decision is taken on the advice of the Defense Council. Sir, did General Blair at any time suggest to you that if Hills was not to be saved, he would consider an intervention, a military intervention by the British Army this or any other. That is what he was saying here. That is what is he that said. true? This is what he was saying here. He will suggest military intervention. He was saying here before the whole members of Defence Council. Halfway through, he ordered his military commanders in the room to leave and be on the alert for the British invasion. The whole army, air force, marine, all security forces, including Uganda, will be in alert from now. And we are ready to combat any British will be coming across. You should not wait for me. And you, the chief of staff, you must command the army and also the commander of the Air Force and the commander of the Marine. You will now cancel your exercise. Be ready operationally. Thank you. Are you suggesting that it would be advisable for English people to begin to leave uh, Uganda? 
I don't want them to leave. They are my friend, but uh, we got to keep a close eye on them, and uh, we love them. And uh, they are uh, citizens. Some of them are uh, general managers. Some of them are lecturers, and uh, some of them are my best friend, and uh, we live together. You see? And, but you say that the, the, a whole 700 of them plus might now be in jeopardy. It is up to them, but uh, we got to keep eye on them. See. <laughs> Thank you.